Hi everyone, I'm Tanya June Moore. Welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival 2022. And I'd like to say a huge shout out to Yavapai College for this amazing setup that we have this year. And also a special thanks to Northern Arizona Healthcare for sponsoring the festival. Uh, I have, of course, my favorite thing in the whole world, another filmmaker in the seat. Please introduce yourself and your film. Uh, my name is Kurt Schneider. The film is Our Daughters, and it's a film that's kind of bringing awareness to the issue of human trafficking in Nepal specifically, um, and hopefully, you know, starting a conversation or continuing a conversation about human trafficking just around the globe. Yes, and there it's a never-ending story, and it's been going on for hundreds of years, yeah. really. Um, you had a screening this morning. What was the feedback? Uh, it was great. I think I think the the biggest, I guess, compliment or feedback that I got was just that, first of all, brought awareness to the issue, um, and I think hopefully can get people to empathize with what they're actually going through. Because as bad as it, as bad as hearing that some there's human trafficking or sex slavery. Um, yes. As bad as that sounds, I think hearing the more specifics of that somebody was being raped 12 to 13 times a day, and then and seeing the the beautiful girl that went through that, and seeing just how she came out of that, uh, it really makes it that much more real. And, and and unfortunately, I think until we can realize how bad. A situation is or how bad a something like that is it's it's hard to take action or actually do something about it so um, I think some sometimes that's kind of the harsh the hard side of, of being a filmmaker is you're highlighting things that are terrible but kind of necessary at times I guess what was your personal takeaway I mean what is it that you feel that you can do besides making this film or what can you tell our audience members that they can do to take action well I think in general what the organization is doing I think an incredible job of is not just not just coming in and saying oh we're gonna help we're gonna stop this situation we're gonna fix trafficking by coming in and and trying to just donate money or this or that. I think really what the organization's doing, and I think is probably the best answer that I've ever heard to just trafficking in general, is empowering the women themselves to be able to provide for themselves and avoid situations where they are far more likely to be trafficked. Mm -hmm. So the common the common themes that we would see over there is really two situations where women would get trafficked. One is to make money, they would cross over the border from Nepal to India on their own and end up getting trafficked. Or the other situation is somebody from India would come into Nepal, come to a family who's desperate and say, let me take your daughter, we'll get her work in India and we'll send home $100 a week for the work that she's doing, you know, at a front desk, at a hotel or something. And they, they will give you a down payment. So they give them a $100 down payment. And that's the last time they ever see their daughter. And so both of those are stem from a lack of resources. Mm -hmm. And so the girl in this, you know, in those two scenarios, if she has the means to make money herself and if she has means to provide for her family, She's not trafficked. So what they're doing is is the women are kind of coming together, and basically it's like a form of crowdsourcing because in, in, in Nepal and India, as a woman, you can't get a loan from the bank. Mm -hmm. So what they do is the, the women get together, they pool their money, and then they're starting their own businesses. And so they'll give you, you know a low or no interest loan to a woman to go start her own business. And then once that business is up and running, she goes from being somebody who used the co-op to, to helping other women start their own businesses. And it's this multiple, like multiplicative effect where there's now been, I think, seven or 800 businesses that have come out of this. And so not only then is that helping the people directly involved, but their children and girls and women that aren't, aren't even involved, they're seeing 
just the idea of all of a sudden you've never seen a woman own a business and you're a young Nepali girl and you're just on your way to school or whatever one day and you see a woman owning a business, all of a sudden that becomes a possibility. Empowerment. It's like, wait, oh, she can do that. I can do that. And so it, I think as the issue is so bad and it seems so impossible to put a dent in it, but I think what's encouraging to me is when you see, when you see how quickly this, this could domino Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's what's encouraging to me, and I think that that it's a system that could be, especially in in developing nations like Nepal, I think is very effective, where they can't get a loan. What is the website that people can go to to follow this? Yeah, the, the website is ourdaughtersinternational.org, dot org, mm-hmm. and there you can stay up to date with the with what's going on with the group, donate, um, and yeah, I think there's. There's just a lot of ways to get involved, and so I definitely would encourage people to check out that website, um, and then at the, or at the very least, just learn more about human trafficking in general because it's a huge issue mm-hmm. in the U.S. as well. Yes, um, and I think it's just it all starts with awareness. That seems like it seems like awareness is you're not doing anything, but if you're just spreading the awareness, even and bringing it up in a conversation. Um, Because if we just sweep it under the rug, then it's not something that's going to just resolve itself. That's right. That's right. So it really is. We can make a huge difference just by sharing, talking about it. And we have the ability to to do that every day and make it global, not just within our communities, but by using social media to spread the word about things like this. So use your voice. This is the time we can uh, take our power back, which is what we deserve to do. Thank you. Thank you for making this film. Thank you for being at the Sedona International Film Festival and making us aware of this. Yeah, thank you for having me. We hope you come back. Thank you. Make another film. We love our alumni. Please come back and see us. And stay tuned. I'll be right back with another filmmaker in the seat. And this is the Sedona International Film Festival 2022. Hashtag Sedona Film Fest 2022 and Sedona Film Fest.